With the launch sequence complete, we're now ready to move on to the next stage, which is the media process stage. Now this is a two-step stage. The first step is to get a, some form of confidence that the video editor can actually create an MPEG-4 file to the standards and my requirements. Now the project before you is rendered into a MPEG-4 file. I call this project the biometric scanner. If it passes that test, I then get it to render the game anime project, which you saw in the launch sequence. The first thing to do is to describe these monitor applications that are going to help me see how efficient this editor is. Now the one in the blue square is the media process dashboard and that one tells me if any bottlenecks occurred and what caused the bottleneck. It also will tell me what was loaded on the CPU at the time and the next thing it shows is all the logical CPUs which are basically the threads leading into the quad-core processor, two threads per processor. That means eight logical CPUs and I want to see a balance across those logical CPUs. Here is the process space for the, app, the editor itself which is EDS Pro and you can always tell by the top and the title as well as here. So this is the process space and I'll be looking at the resources consumed by this process space while doing the rendering of the project. And this is the actual platform itself, the Azus platform. And what I'll be doing is looking at the res resources consumed here and then that will give me an idea of the proper resources consumed by the editor compared to what is consumed by the monitors. So here we go through the media process. So the place is the export. And what I didn't like here was the name print to file. It just doesn't seem right. But anyway, these are my list of presets and that's my preset in my preset, uh, one I've already created. And how you do that is you pick a standard preset and then you do tweaks. This will tweak the video side and this will tweak the audio. And then you'd save this preset. What I don't like is the way this process or workflow goes. This is box standard, which I don't mind, which says, do you want me to queue into a batch or do you want me to immediately export or do you want to cancel? Now that's okay. And doing going through these options are okay, but then to do this, why couldn't they put them both in one process or workflow? But anyway, this is the data rate or the compression that you want to um, have the encoder to work by. That's the video and this is the audio. So the first thing I'm going to do is do everything box standard, but I'm going to make this a software only. So I'm going to take away the hardware accelerator. Now the hardware accelerator here is EDIUS, uses QuickSync. It's highly tuned to the i7 and you're going to see that. So here we go, let's do the software only. And now bearing in mind that Movie Edit Pro did this in 21 seconds, and that's what it's comparing with. So we're half a second in, and it says it's going to take 30 odd seconds. And this shows you that the CPUs are really loaded up to about 80 to 90%. So the logical CPUs are quite heavily loaded. And it took 31 seconds. I think this is on the long side because 21 seconds by Movie Edit Pro using no accelerator whatsoever um, does say a lot. So let's now do the same process, but this time use the hardware accelerator. As I said before, this is going to use the HD 4000. This is highly tuned for the i7. And away we go. Being this is such a small file, only 16 seconds long, you're not going to get much time to do anything. But look at that. The same uh, point of entry as the last time, which said 31 seconds, it's saying it's going to do it in five. A considerable saving in time. Um, uh, there's a lot to say about having the right libraries to do the job. And if you use the i7 correctly, no special hardware. It's on the platform. It can actually do the job. And there you go, six seconds. That is a considerable saving and one of the fastest ever times on all of the project editors. So it also passed the test. So we got the right container and we got the HRD present. So it's been proofread and also it's good for streaming across the web. What more could you ask for? But as we got here, eight, uh, 16 seconds was Movie Edit Pro. It did it in six seconds. Yeah, it beat it. It beat it handsomely. Good on you, the guys and developers at EDS Pro. 
So we're now going to render the project, the game anime project, which you saw me load at the launch sequence. Subtle um, changes here. Essentially, everything is kept to the same numbers, as you will see. All the video editors went through this number. Um, I did two sets, one using an average of six and a max of eight, and the other one using a higher quality setting, which means less compression. Now it's actually predicting it will um, build or render the project in one hour, 50 minutes, say two hours. Now, when these things start earlier on, it hasn't divided up the workload properly. So that time is normally a guesstimate. But when you start seeing it go in, you should start seeing the time come down. And did this come down? We're now looking at 53 minutes. This is sub one hour. This beats a lot of video editors. In fact, if it continues and passes, it will be the fastest um, editor of them all. And when I look at the resources, it's actually been quite efficient. And what I find very good about this is it is using the logical CPUs effectively as well as using the HD 4000 effectively. Now the GPU doesn't register here because it's actually looking at the NVIDIA device. Unfortunately I couldn't get this to look at the HD 4000. Right if you look at the bottom right hand corner the blue graphs is spiking that's an indicator a lot of IO operations are taking place which is an indicator that it's come to the end of rendering and it has 55 minutes. Movie Edit Pro 2014 did this using QuickSync 3 in 1 hour 20 minutes and this done it in 55. That is a very good affirmation of using the i7 properly. Well done EDIUS Pro and the developers for this because that is a money saver. No wonder it is used by professionals in the movie industry and in the entertainment industry. This is a very good sign. Now it passed the actual test, the requirements. The containers correct. I can understand that for the broadcasting side. It smashed my record really good. It made, a, you know, took the bull by the horns of taking the game anime and taming it. And that's what you want. You want a video editor to do this because if it can do this, it can do anything else. So it wins the Blue Ribbon Award. It also tells me product is keen. Well done.